so guys as you can see here it's attempting the automatic repair errors and this is the error I'm getting in Windows 11 so you can also follow these steps in Windows 10 as well so how to troubleshoot this issue automatic repair could not repair your PC and my laptop is not booting up so I will show how to troubleshoot the issue okay so first of all click on advanced options and if you are not able to access this PC the PC like this you need to shut down your system two to three times forcefully okay as soon as the manufacturer logo appears click on advanced options and click on troubleshoot click on advanced options okay and from here from here I recommend you to choose this option startup repair this works you can see fix and problems from your windows loading and this was 10 to 15 percent so try that and it will try to diagnose your pc so this is the first diagnostic step you can do that if it success your system is going to boot but not in my case i am showing the different error startup could not repair your pc click on advanced options and click on troubleshoot click on advanced options and we need to open the command from here open that and we need to type some commands here the first command is for checking bed sectors and repairing the bed sector as well as the hard drive corruption the command is chkdsk space slash f space slash r space c and then colon and hit enter r will repair bed sector f will repair the hard drive corruptions so we need to just wait for some time it might take some times so sometime it stacks you need to wait for that and estimated time you can see here so i'm fast forwarding this video for some time and then i will show you once the issue is solved or not okay it will go to five stages and this this is very powerful command now it has started five stages after 15 minutes almost okay so guys this command has been completed after 30 minutes okay and let me type the sfc space slash scan now command system corruptions sfc stands for system file checker and it is recommended to run this command after the chk and dsk corruption is fixed so this might take also 10 to 15 minutes depending on your pc speed okay so i need to tap exit and let me click on this option exit and continue with windows 11 okay it seems like window is booting now okay okay you can see the issue has been fixed now if your issue issue is still not fixed okay so in the third method we will restore our windows so restoring will not lose any data as you can see here i have the windows all the files and folders here and i will show you the restore point how to do that and how to restore your windows so press shift on your keyboard like this and click on start menu and then click on restart option and hold the shift key until you get advanced screen options just hold it like this okay please wait now you can release the shift key yes click on troubleshoot click on advanced options and click on restore system restore and if you have made the restore point and sometime windows makes so if you got you will be getting the next option if not you will be getting the red error as you can see here i have made the system restore point on our, my windows if you are getting the show more options here like you can cho choose that and I can choose the latest option here and click on next and click on finish and click on yes and system is going to restore so no loss to your data I will show you 
after it completes no loss to your data all the data will be saved on your systems make sure you choose the latest from here if latest one is not working you can choose the older one but if, if you haven't made the system restore point on your windows i will show you the fourth step to resolve the issue so this might take 20 to 25 minutes so once this is done i will show you that now you will see finishing restore okay and you will see the date as well as the restart option here okay, click on restart option here it took almost uh, 15 minutes and this is very good method to recover your windows also restore point and windows 11 okay so let me put the password here same username and the password you need to sign in with and you will get this option system restore completed successfully click on close and you can see Wi-Fi is also connected and if I show you the icons here all the data will be same as it is see all the data is safe here okay so this is the benefit of restoring our windows so no loss to your data all the programs file will be same as it is here if your issue is still not solved still persist again hold the shift key or turn off your pc two to three times okay click on troubleshoot click on reset this pc this is the last option you left okay you can try this option reset this pc if nothing is working click on keep my files and you can choose the option local reinstall there is no need of internet if you choose this there is need of internet 4 gb and you will see resetting this pc so this is also going to take some times and all the install application will be will be deleted from your pcs and your personal file will be saved like videos excel files and the ms office will be deleted as well here you can see okay are you sure you want to reset this pc changes setting to back there or in a default key personal file reinstall windows from this device remove all the apps and program that didn't come with this pc only microsoft browser apps will be reinstalled and all the application will be deleted that click on reset okay and your system will be reset and you are good to go your issue will be fixed after resetting your pc okay so this is how you can troubleshoot this issue guys i'm cancelling the process this might take three to four hours so this is how you can troubleshoot this issue if nothing works you can make a bootable pen drive and install the fresh windows if you are unable to reset your pc or you can check the hardware go to the repair centers and check your hardware okay so hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix time